I'm Eric Engelbert and this is another episode of Golf Tips. Today we're going to talk about driver and my main keys to hitting it long and straight. I went from a 10 handicap to a plus three. These are some of the things I learned along the way. I'm Eric Engelbert and this is Golf Tips. Driver, how to hit it long and straight. My main key to hitting it long and straight is balance and stability. When we try and hit it hard, when we try and hit it far, we pretty much always lose balance and we lose stability, which leads to off-center hits and poor shots. Early in my career, I swung as hard as I could with every muscle in my body just trying to hit it far. And that led to a lot of punch shots from the trees and a lot of frustration. But now, with my main key being balance and stability, I hit it farther than I ever have and I hit it straighter than I ever have. So, how do we swing driver with balance and stability? We start from the ground up. Our footwork, being grounded. Let's talk about that. Let's take a little neutral setup position. And while I'm doing this, I'm really trying to get grounded. And what I mean by that is I'm trying to feel my body weight underneath my feet. I don't want to be light on my feet. I don't want to be a shortstop trying to be ready for action. I'm not playing baseball. I'm not trying to run or sprint or anything. I'm going to make a big move, but I want to do that with stability. So I need to get stable on this ground. I want to feel my weight underneath my feet. So then I do a little bit of a hip bump towards the target. Got some spine angle now, and I'm feeling 50-50 weight distribution between my right and left foot. And I kind of want to stay there until the top of the swing. If anything, at the top, I might get a little bit 60 to 40, 60% 60 on the front, not on the back. Right now, in my backswing, I'm using my core, I'm using my legs to stabilize my body so that I don't sway off of it, right? I'm not a believer of loading up into it and then lunging into it this way. There's too many moving parts. It's so hard to hit the sweet spot when you're moving like that. So I'm going to be grounded as possible and stable as possible. My stomach muscles, my core, my legs, they're all engaged. Even though I'm relaxed, they're engaged, but to keep me still. So I'm staying 50-50 all the way to the top. Right now, from this position, I'm going to feel a whole lot of weight under my left foot as I start my arms down. And my left leg is pushing up. That's what's creating all that pressure under my left foot. So when I make that swing, you don't see, you actually see this hip going that way, right? It's not going this way so that I load up into my right side and then boom, that's like Happy Gilmore, right? To have good contact and consistent contact and to be able to predict the swing path and the club face at impact, we need to be stable during the swing. So engage your core, engage your legs, and use your arms to move the club. Just like that. Okay, we talked about footwork. I also want to talk about impact position. Did you know that your impact position should look just like your address position? Is that even possible? Chris Gilly told me that a few years ago and it took a long time to sink in. But now I understand what he's talking about. When you watch somebody swing, 
and their impact position looks nothing like their dress position. They're like this or they're like this. You know they're swinging out of balance, probably swinging too hard and their body or club or arms aren't working in the proper order. They're just not synced up. And when you're not synced up, it's easy to be out of balance and it's very hard to have clean, good hits and good golf shots. So here's what I'm talking about with position and lines, right? So this is a dress and this is impact. I'm matching up the body lines. I'm in a very similar position at impact than I was at address. Well, a good golf swing is what I like to call a blended golf swing where your arms, your core, your legs, your feet are all working together to create a smooth application of power at the ball. Now this key of balance and stability I think is important for every golf shot and every type of player. If you're somebody who swings a little bit over the top or if you're somebody who swings under the plane and sometimes gets stuck, no matter what kind of swing you are, having balance and stability will help you get back to center, will help your impact position mirror your address position and help you hit better shots. So we do talk about grip a lot. We talk about swing plane and face angle and all that stuff, but it starts with balance. Those things are secondary. If you don't have good balance, you don't have good footwork, then forget about the rest of it. Just start with the basics and that's setup, footwork, balance during the swing, and stability during the swing. That's a tip that can help anybody at any level. So good luck out there. Make lots of birdies or pars. Thanks for watching guys. I'm Eric Engelbert and this is Golf Tips.